Hey y'all, it's Jeff here. And I just want to take a minute uh, to celebrate and recognize a few, um, really all of our graduating seniors, um, at least the high school ones, you know. And we have Kaylin Powell and Maxine Legaspi. And man, um, we are so excited for you guys. We're pumped uh, about what's next and that you are um, continuing to grow and take next steps. Um, you know, it's always bittersweet because um, you guys have meant a lot to our ministry. Um, but really, both y'all, man, We've seen you grow um, into adulthood on this path. And we've seen you both grow into confident, um, competent, kind, hardworking, and really just wonderful women of the Lord. I mean, y'all have been such a blessing to our student ministry. You know, the attributes and the things, that the uh, intangibles, if you will, that you've added to our group, they will be sorely missed in Azalee to you. I know we have the summer, I'm not trying to get too sappy. Uh, but really, you guys have meant a lot to us. You've added a lot to this group. You know, um, as two of our oldest students, y'all were always uh, so patient. As our group grew and as it has continued to grow, um, it's been a blessing to see, but it's been growing younger and younger. And y'all too, um, you guys provided maturity that we needed. You provided a, just a fantastic example of all of us um, for NBC students. And um, man, Maxine, I want you to know, um, your smile and your whimsical sense of humor, uh, man, they light up a room. They light up our room, and um, you put people at ease just by being there. You know, Jesus shines bright in your life, um, and I hope he continues to do so as you move into college. He has a, a fantastic plan uh, for you, and I think he'll use you in a mighty way if you let him. You know, Kaylin, um, your quiet, strong presence provides safety, it provided refuge, it provided maturity that our group sorely needed. You know, you're, I mean, you're both hard workers. You're both servants. I mean, I can point to anything we've ever um, added or, or built up in our student ministry. If it's, if it's painting the youth room, if it's doing stuff like that, and you guys were there, you know. Um, Y'all have contributed so much over the years, and it's going to be missed. It really is, but... I guess what, the Lord raises them up and he calls them out. And he is taking you guys where you need to be. And he's going to use you in a mighty way where he's taking you. You know, 2 Timothy 1.7 tells us, it says that God has not given us a spirit of fearfulness, but one of power, love, and sound judgment. And I know this year hasn't been what any of us anticipated. Back when you started school at the end of um, last August, when you were looking forward and dreaming of graduation, um, it looked different. I can almost guarantee it. I know um, this has been wild, it's been hard, but I want you to know um, that I'm proud of you, your church is proud of you. Um, you guys have been wonderful ambassadors of Christ. You all have been wonderful ambassadors of Memorial Baptist. Um, there's never been a time where I've been concerned or worried that you were wearing um, student ministry merch or that you told people you went here because Jesus shines bright in y'all's life, each of y'all's. And so um, just my word of encouragement is that uh, when the world wants you to worry, when the enemy wants you to worry, when it wants you to be anxious, remember that God reminds us of something better. His power, his love, his peace, and his wisdom. His power, His love, His peace, and His wisdom. In Christ, we have access to those things. And so, as you take next steps into adulthood, as you move forward, when times of anxiety or worry come, remember that He didn't give us a spirit of fearfulness, but one of power, love, and sound judgment. We love you guys so much. Congratulations.